Have you changed any of your time predictions of when you think AGI will um, be developed based on the last four months? And do you think you're yeah. going to be the ones that do it with, with Zarka? I mean, I've always felt rationally that there's, there should be a fairly wide confidence interval around something like the first human level thinking machine. Cause it's, it's unprecedented. Right. And so you don't know what obstacles will pop up. And also as narrow AI rolls out and other technologies advance, we don't know what screwed up things are going to happen in the world. Like, uh, I don't, I don't think COVID-19 was intentionally released. Right. I, I mean, I don't want to go into the whole lab leak thing, but on the other hand, it's, it's pretty clear someone could genetically engineer some nasty pandemic. If that happens, I, I hope it doesn't. And I don't see how any reasonable person would have a motivation to, because it, it will spread throughout the whole world. Right. But I mean, if something like that happens, you could get a several year delay in developing AGI or, or any, any technology, right. Or if, or if U S and China go to war over Taiwan, you could, I mean, none of these things alters the evolutionary course of humanity in my view, but could they put a few years glitch in the path to the, to the singularity? Yeah. Right. And these are, these are sort of known unknowns, but then there's the, unknown unknowns that can jump up and bite you in the butt like the ukraine war or the or the or the COVID 19 pandemic right so right. i think we got to have wide confidence intervals but yeah that, that said i think my odds estimate that we beat ray kurzweil's 2029 date for agi has increased since seeing gpt3 really i mean i think gpt3 was way smarter than the ones that came before it. GBT four was sort of predictable to me after I saw what GPT three did. Like you could see, you could build it up step by step. Some, and uh, I mean, I think, yeah, seeing what these narrow AIs can do has increased my odds estimate that we can get an AGI say by 2026 or seven rather than 2029 or, 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 or 30, not that these LLMs are going to be AGIs by, by any means, but just they can do a lot of stuff. They can be a module of a multi-component AGI architecture. Right. And, and I, I, I think, uh, and what they can do has just brought so much more money and so much more attention and so many more enthusiastic young people into the AI field. And th 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 these are all things that, that boost development. Are you more optimistic now than even you were in January as far as what no, you think th you're going to create? Cause it, it, I think, I think, I think it's about the same as in, as in January. Okay. I, 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 it, I, I, th I think, I think, well, you About the same as in February, anyway. Let, let, okay. let, let, let me say that because what, what I mean, the overall situation hasn't changed in any dramatic way since January. But in terms of my own project, Singularity Net, the AGIX token price went up considerably since since then, and we we use that token to incentivize development in in, in our community, right? So I mean, having having the exchange value of our AGIX utility token higher means that we have more ability to incentivize and fund development on, on, on our platform. And the big rise in that price occurred really in, in, in February. So that, that was, that, that certainly was positive and, and a help to singularity net ecosystem, although not, 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 uh, not a big deal for the for, for the for, for the world at large, but still, even even before that, I felt confident we just have a big lead over everyone else in the AGI race on the algorithmic side in terms of understanding the problem and having software algorithms that can solve the problem. I think we're just way ahead of everybody else out there. No, we're. 
certainly way behind Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Tencent, Baidu in capitalization, right? I mean, we don't, we're not, we're not trillion dollar projects. On, on the other hand, more people doesn't always let you move faster in in software, right? There's the whole mythical man month. So I I I I, I think that uh, we've got a great team who knows what to build and know, knows knows how to build this stuff, right? And so that that that's that's a extremely valuable thing in terms of hardware. We don't yet have all the hardware we need to build, to train a thinking machine, even though we have we have the people. And there is a number of angles we're pursuing there. And I'm optimistic multiple of them will, will come through at one time, right? So, I mean, one, one, one angle that you yourself have been engaged with is uh, Zarka, which is our LLM-oriented spinoff. And as, as Zarka grows, Zarka, Zarka will accumulate its own compute server resources to train to train the LLMs and neural symbolic LLMs to be rolled out on our decentralized platforms and true AGI as it rolls out enterprise software will work with many corporate partners who themselves have huge huge server facilities that 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 that, that can be leveraged to train AI systems the hypercycle project which which successfully completed a, a, a token sale last week. Yeah, congratulations to build a, on that. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that was great. And uh, many thanks to the SingularityNet community, Singularity DAO community, HyperCycle community, and everyone who came together to make that happen. So this is a ledgerless blockchain, super high speed, low cost, scalable, customized for AI. And this, this, ledgerless blockchain you know this this has an economic model associated with it and we're we're talking to a number of folks running crypto mining farms around the world about replacing some of their aging bitcoin and ethereum mining machinery with modern gpus that are useful for training large language models and running opencog hyperon right so there's an avenue where through hypercycles tokenomic economics, you're getting these miners around the world to basically run parts of our language model and parts of our open code system, parts of our decentralized a a a G AGI brain, right? So there's, there's a number of avenues being run down to accumulate into our networks, the, the processing power that, that we need. And of course, these things all synergize, right? Because if, if if we get, as we get more and more miners in to run hypercycle on their mining farms, they're not just running hypercycle; they're running NuNet, they're running Singularity Net, right? More utilization for these tokens boosts everything that happens in the in these networks, boosts the value of the tokens, which then gives you more firepower to incentivize more development. All 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 this work also boosts. Zarka, True AGI, you know, Rejuve, every other project in in, in Singularity Net network, right? So I think we've got the potential for a lot of virtuous cycles to unfold in the in the coming year. Of course, big tech isn't standing still either, though, right? So I, I mean, I think it is it is an AGI race now, but you know, some of us have been preparing. For this AGI race for for many decades, and have thought through many different aspects and 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 contingencies of it. And while I'm the primary public face, we've actually got a bunch of other folks in the Singularity Net ecosystem who've been working on AGI for anywhere between you know five and and forty years, and have been preparing for the AGI race to start in earnest for for quite quite some time so pairing pairing some of us old hands with a bunch of youthful energy with open source communities i mean what i think uh, we can certainly give the uh, trillion dollar big tech companies a run for their corrupt money so jim rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast 
It's going to be bloody. It's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now, we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. The greedy bankers are about to do it again. In 2008, they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy. Then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts. And after, they demanded fat bonuses paid for by you, the taxpayer. It turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the American taxpayers, they're also screwing over their investors. Turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money despite enormous taxpayer bailouts. Now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom. They lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. The banks take $9 trillion per year of your hard-earned money, and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back, and take control. It's time to educate ourselves, our families, and our communities. Because financial education means financial freedom. We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future. A banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth. The DeFi revolution is happening. We, the people, can no longer be fooled. We choose to take control of our finances. We choose to take control of our freedom. We choose to take control of our future. Join us and let's take back our financial freedom forever.